Okay, here are a couple of practice problems involving piecewise functions. And in both of these problems, we're supposed to determine whether or not the limit exists at the x value at which the definition of the function changes. In this case, it's at x equals 1. We have one function definition when x is less than 1, and another one when x is greater than or equal to 1. So at that point, we want to determine if the limit exists at that x value. And if it does, we need to find out what it is. And if it doesn't exist, we will still use limit notation to describe how the function behaves at that point. So first, let's think about the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x, well, if it's approaching 1 from the left, then it's less than 1, and so we'll use this. So we're getting really, really close to a value using this polynomial with a, a 1 plugged in. So it's going to be negative 1 squared minus 1 plus 2. And that's easy. Just remember this is negative 1. The 1 is squared. The exponent is done first before the negative sign is applied. This right here, this is not negative x squared. It's negative x squared. So that's negative 1 squared. So this is 1 minus 1, or excuse me, negative 1 minus 1 plus 2. That's 0. And then let's think about the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. Okay, that's going to be 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. What does that come out to be? 1 minus 4 plus 3. That's 0 also. So they're approaching the same value. So the left and right limits are both equal to 0, so we can say the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is equal to 0. Here's another piecewise function. f of x is negative x squared minus x plus 2 if x is less than 2, and negative x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 2. So the definition of the function changes at this x value, 2. So we want to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the left, and the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Get a value for both of those. Well, as x approaches 2 from the left, this is going to be negative 2 squared minus 2 plus 2. So what is that? That's negative 4 minus 2 plus 2 is negative 4. And the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, that's going to be negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So the limit as x approaches 2 does not exist because the left side and right side limits are not the same. So let's write that. Let's write the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist. But we've still used limit behavior here to describe the way the function behaves on each side of 2.